Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. And I One more time with life and understanding. I ready now. You are my oxygen. Come on. You are my oxygen. Hey. You are the air that I breathe. Don't just get excited. Think about the revelation behind the song. You are my oxygen. You are my breath. I'm lost without you. I'm desperate for you. I'm lost without you. Just tell him, Lord, you are truly everything to me. You are truly everything to me. I want you to become part of your life. Always give God thanks. Thanks. Become part of the fabric of your life. Let it become part of the fabric of your life. Always give him thanks. Thank you, Jesus. The miraculous power of God flows on the wings of thanksgiving. We're saying thank you for our miracle services, for our services, for your faithfulness. You have kept us. We're celebrating graduates in our midst, celebrating your blessings of life. We thank you for equipping us with your word. Lord, I thank you. And say, I live by the principles of the world. Take this thing serious. Take it very serious. I will not tell you to do things that God didn't direct me. I'd like you to say, I live by the word. My life is founded upon the word. I reject every doctrine and every teaching that does not line up with the principles of the word. Hallelujah. Put it down. I was sharing with, I think there was a time we were having a discussion. Please sit down. We are having a discussion at home. And I was saying something. Uh, I think we are talking about um, certain prophets around and their accuracy and all of these things. Uh, I think I was sharing, we are just sharing at home. And I was saying, my concern is not your degree of accuracy. My concern is not how powerful you are. Hallelujah. My concern is how much of the word of God you live by. I've shared it here many times and I'll say it again. That someone walks at you and says, your name is wrote to me. You served in Zamfara State. You just knew that Jesus Christ. Now I'm not teaching you to be critical. I'm teaching you to be matured so that you can discern spirits. 
and not make yourself gullible to just anything Bible says the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy in other words every manifestation of the spirit in the kingdom should directly glorify Jesus Christ hallelujah Lord I pray that your word will prevail over our minds I pray that your word will truly 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 change us you are equipping us and bringing us back to the foundations of truth and the word you're teaching us the principles that the ancient knew I pray in the name of Jesus that even as we transit through our lives you help us to make the word of God the standard for our lives that we master your principles so much that the new age teachings and the doctrines of devils and demons will not kick us out of the things of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah I once studied a I was just going through several things online and I saw a teaching that gave the man who was teaching and I know it was a scripture he took and he was teaching it very falsely and he was making certain decrees that believers have the right to administer salvation to others and I understand because the Bible says whoever sins you forgive is forgiven and all kinds of things and what the person was teaching he was saying that God doesn't forgive anybody since he doesn't do anything it is left for the believers to choose whether people will be saved or not how do you like that and it had scriptural backings and many of us read and say really and so it gives room for perversion and living immoral lives and everything and people say I have realized that it's within my power to secure my salvation your majesty I can't but bow and I lay my all for you now in royal robes that I don't deserve I live to serve your majesty how many of you are truly seeing growth in your spiritual life growth and maturity let me see your hands honestly that you're coming to a point where you know that when God sends you out of this system you can represent him that in the next 10 years when we hear about you we will hear that you are still living and walking around if that is not happening to you we are failing are you listening to me whether crowds come until people sit on the zinc if there is no transformation then we are failing and God has helped us to define success properly that success is not just about crowds coming or people falling and all of these things that is about the quality of transformation that if at any time God picks this lady and sends her into the system she will represent the kingdom with such power and grace if that happens we are truly successful are you listening to me if all that happens is that we celebrate numerical strength and increase and excellence and all of these things and there is no notable transformation that people are breaking free from the shackles of sin and satan and coming to a point where the word of God becomes the priority where people are experiencing the blessings the goodness the life the prosperity of the kingdom where people are being prepared and equipped 
to understand who they are and the principles of the kingdom if that is not happening then we are failing are you listening to me that's why we took our time to thank God for his faithfulness our time is fast spent very quickly I'll be sharing tonight on a very powerful kingdom principle the creative power of the spoken word the creative power of the spoken word light is shining in the darkness Jesus he is Lord he is risen from the dead he is Lord Truly light is shining in every darkness. Jesus, you are Lord. Hallelujah. The word of God is not just for many believers. We know the word of God to be an instrument the bible calls it the sword of the spirit an instrument against satan you know when jesus came to tempt satan said it is written it is written and so many of us have come to know the word as an instrument against satan and so on and so forth but i need you to understand that the word of god is not just an instrument for victory against satan hallelujah that the word of God is God's agency for creation. The word of God is God's tool for framing realities in this realm. It's his principle. Hebrews chapter 11, very quickly. Hebrews chapter 11. Thank you, Jesus. faith we understand that the walls the systems were framed by what the word of god follow me through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of god it says so that the things which are seen were not made of things that do appear in other words our material realm came into being as a result of a spiritual technology from the supernatural world hallelujah and our understanding of that principle will equip us to create and to frame our world there are so many people who are waiting for god to create their future for them when you go to god in his sovereignty he grants you grace and revelation how many of you have prayed about a thing and the more you pray the more god sends you scriptures you want to see visions and all you see is scriptures and at the end of the prayer you feel very bad you know why because the light that comes in that word will help you and will equip you to be victorious and so the word of god is his creative agency hebrews uh, Paul gives us a, the dynamics of the creation of the universe. It says through faith we understand that the walls were what? Framed. Framed. They had their physical structure by an activity that involved the word of God. In other words, the smallest unit of every material is not atom. It's not electrons, neutrons, and protons. It's the word of God. Hallelujah. And something very interesting. I watched a documentary some years ago. And some scientists were trying to rewind the earth. They were trying to backdate the earth. To rewind it to two minutes or something. So that they would see the formation. And they succeeded. I can't remember the name of the documentary. Very powerful documentary. 
and they were even able to rewind the earth according to them to some seconds before whatever i don't know how they did it don't ask me but they said the only thing that the machines and all of this could interpret was heat and light that was all no atoms no electrons no nothing so forget about that big bang nonsense write it for your exams and pass and go but i'm telling you if you need to be victorious in this life you need to realize that mankind and creation were not a product of two big bangs that came no the direct definite operation of the word of god and that's what i want to teach us tonight hallelujah the bible makes us to understand that through faith we understand that the worlds were framed that means your life will only be framed by the word of god are you listening to me the word of god is the creative tool of the father he uses his word to frame things give them frames and realities genesis chapter one the bible makes us to understand that in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth hallelujah and it says now the earth was dark void formless and the spirit of god hovered around the face of the waters verse three it says and god said the hebrew rendition is god said light be he used the creative power of the word to call the things that were not as though they were and he framed the recreated earth through the word of god hallelujah there are so many believers who are just waiting for our jobs to recreate our lives or our certificates to recreate our lives i need you to understand that your mouth is not just an instrument of eating food that every time you take the word of god and put it in your mouth and you release it it's a technology in the realm of the spirit hallelujah it brings forth creative power everything you see in this auditorium is a product of god's creative power here and i today there was a day it was only in the bowels of the spirit the technology of the spirit brought it into existence and gave it frame are you listening to me this mic came as a product of the creative power of god's word your being here tonight was framed together by the creative power of god's word I, do you believe what i'm teaching you because I need us to step out of this place and realize that as believers it is within our power to create our future and not to sit down and allow things to try to create it there are many of us that live our lives by chance it's one song they used to sing and say whatever will be will be no 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 sir it doesn't work for believers it can work in your cartoon it doesn't work for your life and destiny so we need to come to a point where we realize that there is a provision there is a principle that creates realities the word of god hallelujah Sorry. when jesus walked upon the earth the Bible made us understand that he healed them with his word. Created all kinds of things. Called things that were not. Isn't it interesting, hear me friends, that when God calls you, he doesn't give you any physical thing. Nothing. Hallelujah. When God called Abraham, there's no record that animals fell from heaven, three or four, and he said, all right, now go ahead and just move isn't it interesting that the first seed god gives you in your life is not money or all of this is, is his word and he believes that that word is able to translate ah god i read something about jacob that scared me i was i've been studying what prosperity principle jacob used that made the animals 
to reproduce themselves with dark colors by looking at a dark object. Ah. Isaac didn't give them anything. Just left a blessing. Spoke something that created a man's future and a man's destiny. Hallelujah. There is nothing in this life that the word of God cannot give me. Hear me. Whatever the word cannot give you, you can't get it. If you ever get it, it's a mirage. Run away from it. Any success that did not come by the word is only a mirage. Soon you will cry. Any lifting, any promotion, any increase that is not a byproduct of the word will not last. And so as believers, God gives us his word so that we are able to frame our future and frame our lives hallelujah for many believers we just stop at reading the word by his stripes i am healed he was made poor so that i'll become rich and all of that and we just read it and stop there i want you to know that there is more to the activity of the word of god than just reading it are you listening to me when you study the word of God and it stays in your spirit you take the word of God and put it upon the lips of faith and every time you begin to speak God's word can I tell you something until the word of God is spoken it cannot release the power and the potency that you need that's why many people have their Bibles in their homes and they are still suffering as if Jesus Christ didn't die because we need to realize that it's more than just looking at your Bible. That you must put the word of God first in your heart. And then the word of God must be released. You don't just speak the word to have faith. It's God's principle of creation. Are you listening to me? Very, very important. The more you realize, friends, that the word of God is an instrument of creation. To frame your reality. The Bible said through faith we understand. That the walls were framed. By the word of God. So I take the word of God. And begin to frame. My health destiny. Are you listening to me? I pick up God's word. And I begin to make decrees under his anointing. I say in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. According to God's word. I create a life of health. See, I've said it here that the word of God does not just reveal your future. It can create one. Are you listening to me? That means when you look at a life that is not consistent with God's word, the word of God can change it. Powerful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That you sit down and begin to frame your life with God's word. You begin to speak and declare. And say in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I will never beg. I will never sit running from hand to mouth. It doesn't matter what my background is. I understand that in the realm of the spirit. The spoken word has creative ability. The only thing that is permitted to go to your future before you is the words you send. And boy, if you send sufficient words to your future, you will find a beautiful future. There are so many people who step into their future and sit and say, ah, God is not fair. What you are seeing today by the grace of God is the framework of years of speaking. Our tomorrow will reveal what we are speaking today. Are you listening to me? It's a very simple but powerful teaching. Because there are so many believers that cry and lament over situations. Waiting for God to do something about it. When God is telling you, I have equipped you with the tools and the understanding to frame your reality. You hear a report that is not supposed to be. There are too many believers that give up and give in too quickly. Because we do not realize that within the believer given by God through the instrumentality of his word is the ability to change our situations. Can I tell you something? There are very few people who you see and admire today who had the best situations in their lives by default. People created it. Are you listening to me? 
if you look at someone's wealth and admire it, if he got it by the word of God, it was created. By the principle of God, you speak that faith. And then on this earth realm, God begins to transfer it by the wisdom he gives you. Hallelujah. Many of us have allowed Satan to take advantage of our lives and we have watched our lives not make any progress. Many of us have sat back to watch things go wrong in our families. Yet every time we just look and we are just passive about it. Truth, we are studying God's word. But we do not realize that when the word of God is not spoken, it will only reside in your spirit and stay there. But it will not change your life. Until it is brought forth and declared. He said, declare ye that ye might be justified. Where the word of a king is, there is power. Can I tell you something? According to Jewish culture, all right, the proof that you are a king is that you can just speak and your word is done. Have you realized that in this earth realm, the more you become an oga, the proof that you are an oga is that you just speak and things happen. Hallelujah. If I say, um, Casey, come, and he gets up and comes, what happens? His ability to obey my word is proof that I'm not a non entity. Are you understanding me? And so you need to realize that the proof of your dominion, the true proof of your dominion in the kingdom is that you speak things and they happen. If things are not created by the power of your word, you are not reigning. And there are too many people struggling. But the Bible says there remaineth a rest for God's people. That you come to a point where you frame your world with the creative power of God. Hallelujah. Many of us came here and saying, Lord, will you meet my need? Lord, will you do this and this? And God is saying, when will you get up and take responsibility and begin to put word in your lips? Stand as a king that you are. Are you listening to me? Arise. There are many people who have been sitting. You've been buffeted by Satan again and again because we are unwilling to stand like kings that we are. Say after me, I am royalty. That within you is the ability to create the kind of future you want. If you get to the top and don't find me there, where you are is not the top. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know why? Because I will not shut my mouth over my destiny. You see, in the earth realm, if you keep quiet, you are con the Bible says even a fool when he is silent is considered wise. So people just say, I don't want to look for trouble. There are many people who are afraid of making their faith declarations about their future. So when you get up and begin to speak and say in the name of Jesus, I will not beg for bread. And your roommate say, I thought you just begged me for one indomie. So what? So what? Are you listening to me? Through faith, we understand that the walls were framed. Framed. For you to ever speak, you must know the kind of life you want. And for you to know the kind of life you want, you have to go back to the word of God. The word of God gives you a picture of the kind of life God has for you. Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the things that I think, the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord, they are thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end. Hallelujah. There are many people. Can I tell you something? I am convinced that one of the reasons why the Holy Spirit came back to resurrect Jesus is because he spoke it. How many of you know that before he died, he said it? He said, I would die. But after three days, I will rise. He wasn't just informing them. He was releasing a word. So that when the mortal body was dead, on the third day, that word was activated. I've spoken things about my life. And I'm not careful. About... Let me tell you something. The man who brings you to a point of silence has destroyed your life. Are you learning something this night? All that you need to speak. Many of us, all we speak is, I don't have this. I don't have that. My life is not this. We are the, when will you start speaking? Stop speaking what you are seeing. Begin to create. You are co-creators with God. 
hallelujah for years i kept speaking i said i will never be a failure in life i will never be a failure in ministry there is nothing that my hands will ever touch that will fail I, I tell you the truth take me anywhere the result will come you know why this technology of the spirit will work hmm. and so jesus christ comes to a place and begins to heal the people with the power of his word hallelujah many times you come for meetings and you see all of these things you create a doorway from the realm of the spirit to this realm there are several believers that have several virtues of the spirit locked up in the realm of the spirit but we are too silent or we are careful you don't want to uh you don't want to look charismatic unfortunately i hope you know that in genesis in genesis chapter 3 the bible says and they heard the voice of god walking in the cool of the day the hebrew rendition is they had the talking spirit that's what the hebrew called god there yeah. the spirit that talks the talking spirit let me tell you something if you make up your mind to walk with this principle i'm teaching you tonight your success will scare you there are many people who don't speak i'm not just talking about a special time when you lock your door you make it a part of your life to speak many of us speak but we speak the wrong things and so our lives begin to move in the direction of our words the creative power of the spoken word you never find me say certain things about myself i cannot it's not for me no sir I shared it i think was it during the leaders meeting or something or somewhere i said even if i were not born again i will never kill myself that spirit of suicide impossible you know how much i believe in myself i will never never the money i will use to buy rope to hang myself i will eat food with it or do something else you've got to speak your way to victory in this life if you sit down waiting for god you will sit down there forever you've got to speak you've got to prophesy you've got to declare ezekiel chapter 37 i trust god that will pray one of the things god was bringing my attention to and in this place we are raising talking spirits men and women the jamfa had always said it that in every man is a prophetic dimension whether or not you are called to occupy the office of a prophet the ability to decree to create to establish hallelujah hi my church we don't like talking start talking start talking open your mouth and decree declare tell yourself my life let me tell you something every time things look like they are not going they are not working don't sit down and say oh god when will my change come the day you start speaking many of us say what if i'm speaking and it's going worse that's the time to keep speaking more you keep quiet you've made the biggest mistake satan brings us you know what depression is let me tell you something depression is a demonic mechanism to bring you to a state of silence so that you don't speak again that's why men are the ones who are most depressed because according to our character and makeup when men have serious issues they keep quiet it's women that always talk why did it when you see a man just keep quiet the worries on that man if he puts it on you it will kill you I watched one Nigerian film that one man things were not going um, things were not going um, right and all of this as in several kinds of terrible things were happening and then they were the landlord was supposed to come and drive him out that was the final thing he just came out of his veranda and he just put his hand like this and while the people were discussing and trying to beg the landlord's boys the guy had died since they came outside and found out that this guy died on his hands so what, what kind of life is that the last ounce of energy that he had he'd have said lord there's got to be more either your word is true 
or I'm doing something wrong. In any case, speaking will reveal it. I make up, shut your door. We have very few believers that understand the creative power of the word. Hallelujah. And so we sit down and say, Lord, Lord, when will you help me? When will you help me? Many of us have been looking for all kinds of things. Many of our parents are there. And you say, ah, God gave us this thing for business. We have been looking for capital. We are waiting for one uncle. You are waiting for one uncle. Have you not heard that the Bible says the word became flesh? So the word can become flesh. Ha! Ah, when the word becomes flesh, it will dwell among you. If the word can become flesh, the word can become the money you are looking for. The word can become the increase you are looking for. The word can become anything. The Bible says the word that was in the realm of the spirit wore a material body. It became flesh the word became flesh oh that's why every promise of god in my life must become flesh i must identify with it here and now in this realm hallelujah the power of god's word i understand that i live in a kingdom that is governed by words how come sorcerers know this and demons know this and witches are you never go to a native doctor and he is silent they are always saying things whether you understand or not is not the issue is that they are saying things the creative power of the spoken word many of us have stopped speaking about our lives because you felt well i started and i'm not seeing anything the bible says why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen are temporal let me tell you something every time god sends you he will send you with only a word many people when they are starting out in ministry they've not done anything they are looking for partners they are looking for everything <laughs> all this begging 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 sitting down to beg people there are many of us are you not tired of begging your uncles and aunties running helter skelter there are many of us who are looking for our school fees and you will not let every, you've called almost everybody on your phone and you are angry why don't you make the word become flesh he said but how shall these things be that's what mary asked he said how shall these things be oh god how shall these things be that's what zechariah said when the angel brought him word he doubted and gabriel was angry he said i am gabriel that standeth in the presence of god and guess what zachariah became deaf and dumb you know why so that his words would not change the plan of god and his mouth was shut until the baby was born and he used his hand to write it he said his name is john god said now your mouth can open isn't that amazing that's a powerful lesson we need to learn god had, because zachariah was a priest he was operating in a prophetic office and if he made decree, he could interrupt heaven's affairs on earth. There are many people. Have you not known that your speaking cooperates with the heavens to bring to birth realities? Every time God shows you, many of you get up with a beautiful dream. You saw people celebrating you in the dream. That's an opportunity to make that word become flesh. You just lie down and write it in your book and say, I know one day it will happen. And you are angry now. You saw it when you were four years. How old are you? 30. You have not seen any manifestation. hallelujah we have to come to points where we keep speaking speaking you want to go for a job interview you begin to speak i am well favored i am well favored the grace of god is at work in my life i feel very sad when i see people living as if the word of god is not working I tell you the truth with all humility what you see today is a product of the word becoming flesh the strength and the creative potency of the word on the lips of faith hallelujah who told you the blessings in the word cannot become your reality it's just that we have trained ourselves to run and beg do everything we run with everything just run, look at our parents running elter skelter i know this person i know that person some of us are already looking for admission and the, and the next thing is please who do you know that can help me 
let me share with you a story to the glory of God. I didn't ask him for permission, but I'll share it. Over Steve's admission, he shared with me. Let me tell you something. When Steve was looking for admission, I didn't ask for his permission. I'm sorry, sir. Hallelujah. The first list came out and he didn't get the admission. And then the second list came out. He also didn't get the admission. Hallelujah. Then they used to do first, second, and third list. And then he meandered his way to living, living faith church. And while he sat down there, he had somebody giving a testimony that he went around the Senate building seven times speaking. And when he did the admission, the second list came and he got it. And Steve said, ah. <laughs> See him, he can confirm it. Steve went around your Senate seven times. Carbol satire. The Bible says, wherever the, the, my feet treads upon has been given unto me. That's him. The word of God. The word of God. Let me share with you something to bless your heart. When my sister, my sister, she's in final year now to the glory of God. She got admission. She was given economics. And something happened and she collapsed during her work and then she didn't, she didn't get the, the, she didn't make maths or something then. And so when it was time to give her admission, things didn't work out and uh, they said well here's your admission letter but you don't have maths and so i said so where do we try now i was asking her and she said okay i can do mass communication i've said lord what is my sister going to study i've been blessing other people and god said my sister was going to study mass communication i said that's all i went to the hod's office and i said well uh, there's a one full and man like this he said uh that well there's no admission there's no this thing i just left him quietly and see when you know this power you stop begging people the place of your victory is not in the open you go and shut yourself and say are you not the creator of heavens and the earth and i began to speak and suddenly as i began to speak god gave wisdom and god told me he said go and meet prof rampia's father of blessed memory he blessed our lives before he went to be with the lord hallelujah and god just gave me the wisdom and i went and met him and he said you mean the man said no admission and he just got up and went and went to talk with the man i said well, it's not like there's no admission it's just that they have to wait and see first and all of that and that cut the long story short my sister is in final year today my younger sister could not enter school for a long time because she was looking for a particular paper she did have and everything she got frustrated at a point and one year i got angry i had gotten admission my sister had not gotten admission i got angry in the court many of you don't know it now in the court there that night he was a, i became a talking spirit i said lord even if my sister doesn't write wayek english must come out this year I put it as a time I, I got angry in my spirit and the spirit of faith. I was one who drove her to a cafe. And when we went to the cafe, she couldn't come out because she had written exams many times. Just like many of you are saying, Master, we have toiled all night. Nevertheless, at I word. Hallelujah. And when I checked it and I saw C in her English, I came out. Say, hey, where are you? Yeah, collect your today by god's grace she has graduated served she's a happy happy wonderful lady she's looking for a job and she told me i said truly if i'm a blessing and i'm a servant of god believe me you have a very good job many of you said kai man of god don't you know that is the same ability that resides within you why do you think we sing that song same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me how many how many things have come our way that would have changed by the creative power of god's word ezekiel chapter 37 very quickly and then we'll pray this was 
the encounter of the prophet Ezekiel and the spirit of the living God a very simple lesson for us to get and then I like us to pray it's my desire friends that the least person among us here will command fearful breakthroughs and advancements in our lives that we will lead the reality of this scripture that says the least among them will be as great as David so that it will not just be a few people I look forward to times when it's time for testimony we we'll have to stop and say hold on because we will say I must give this word works that statement the word works I don't hear many people say it again that means it has not been working for many people that means you have stopped speaking Ezekiel 37 thank you Lord Jesus for the breath of your spirit upon this word the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of a valley that was full of bones say it was full of bones so it's not only your life that is full of bones there's a valley that will be full of bones and believe me there are some people's lives that the bones are almost filling the valley you need to hear this message tonight and begin to reduce those bones and create an exceeding great army out of those bones many of us do not realize that the same things that look like disadvantages are the raw materials that will be used to create the miracle the same bones now became an exceeding great army read on and caused me to pass by them round about and behold there were very many in the open valley and lo they were what they were what it was a description of the state of hopelessness see i don't care what problem you have in this place i don't care what kind of future you need to frame solomon tells us that there is nothing that is happening now on the earth that has not happened before whether it's financial situation whether it's your education whether it's whatever the bible makes us to understand that with the creative power of god's word you can frame a glorious destiny you may not be able to do anything about yesterday but you can begin to speak today to redeem your tomorrow are you listening to me verse 3 and he said unto me son of man can these bones live again do you see a future where these bones suddenly become human beings standing ah the prophet said bones becoming an army is hard oh god i'm a prophet i've seen visions i've seen all kinds of supernatural things but lord on this only thou knowest hallelujah it gets to points in your life where if God tells you certain situations can change, they look so impossible. Until the miracle happens, you will never believe it can happen. When you hear some testimonies and close your mouth, the person was not laughing when he was trusting God for the breakthrough of that testimony. Remember when we were going to Pangshin 2006? We didn't have the, it's not like now that we are reaping the products of the word of God we are going for a crusade a few people here were there then and there was no money for the transportation but we had asked the drivers to come to main gate and we told everybody go and be entering the bus where he and I meet on campus God is my witness that's where I was walking I said in the name of Jesus Lord you have given us this instruction your word is true and as i was speaking there and then people were running from hostels and running from wherever and coming and say i hear you are about to leave here's the money ask him that's how we raise the money at that point why are we too quick to doubt god and his ability to bring his promises to pass in our lives i believe god i believe god i believe god I believe God everything he has said in his word I believe and I have declared that I will see it happen in my lifetime hallelujah 
so i'm provoking us tonight to realize that part of the principles of the kingdom is the ability to speak god's word you have a business enough of begging people and trying to look for favor who can connect who can do this you are looking for a job enough of begging this begging 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 thing i'm telling you i've said it again and again and i'll keep saying it thank you for those of you who are graduating take your eyes away from men take your eyes away from men you will be disappointed again and again in this life in my little life i've come to see that anything that the word of god does not give is vanity and is a mirage it will only bring you pain and sorrow men can promise you heaven and hell and you'll be this not because they want to be unfaithful the best and the greatest of any man is still a man son of man can these bones live again he said only thou knowest verse 4 he said again he said unto me do what are you reading it again he said unto me prophesy he didn't say read the scroll he said what prophesy speak prophesy 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 and say what he said prophesy upon he didn't say prophesy to god you need to know when to speak to god and when to speak to situations and circumstances and speak to your future many of us are always talking to god both the things we should tell him and the things we should do ourselves he says speak upon these bones is the same thing as god saying josh you people are trusting God for a boss project. Do you believe that this can become a boss? <laughs> God is not stupid like that. Wisdom is profitable to direct. That's the kind of carnality that has come upon our minds. That we are not able to believe God. If God tells me our boss will come from this. Till I die. You will meet me on my knees here. Calling this to become a boss. I will not respond foolishly. I will respond to the word but if he has decreed it it will come to pass hallelujah so you find the truth of god's word concerning your life in the world and then you keep it in your spirit and suddenly you begin to frame i will never be poor in this life never never be poor in this life you know why you know why let me tell you something i've said it again i'm saying it with all humility there is nobody here that receives salary from this ministry ask the treasurers they are there nobody i've never asked the ministry to give me one naira for my daily bread i said god i can't be tying my faith and the well-being of my family to the obedience of someone so god tells you to sow a seed into my life and you struggle with god for three months before saying yes while you are struggling i'm suffering from nothing i rather believe god's word for myself are you listening to me i rather believe god's word for myself oh i know his word works but it doesn't just work blindly i'm teaching you the dynamics of the creative power of god's word that you put god's word in your lips not just to pray and say lord i want this so i've been telling you if you don't give me you are not speaking the word you are just making noise and, and disturbing the realm of the spirit you need to be constructive 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 are you getting me you need to be constructive ah god i said this and that i'm trusting you when will the change come anyway i've made up my mind to give you glory you keep giving glory over nothing you need to calm down what the creative force listen listen i'm very serious about what I'm, I'm i'm saying the creative force in the realm of the spirit is not your words is god's word so if what you have been speaking is your word it will not create anything if your word becomes god's word then it will create something all these vain things that people command angels up and down and no angel has moved at your command the angels will only move at your command if your word is the word of god is it as in, my angels go go by which authority who are you you didn't send them the bible says they were sent to minister and so you they are they move 
only under the instruction of the Holy Spirit. So when it looks like they are obeying your words, it's because your word has become God's word. Ha! No mountain will move because of your word. Oh mountain, move! You know me. Ah, you know you. It takes a revelation where you understand. No demon will give way because your name is called Joshua Selman. Nothing will change in your life because you are a Christian. Many people say, God, I'm a Christian. My life is not moving forward. I will go back to drinking and smoking. Please. Yeah, that's the door. Go. Go and drink and smoke and see how good you will become. But you must come to a point in your life where you realize that it is within my power to frame my destiny. There's a place for praying in tongues. Are you listening to me? It's all speaking the word. But there's a place for conscious and willful lifting of the word of God. That's why I love the word of faith movement. You put the word in your lips and make decrees. Things are not working. Every time God keeps convicting you. God keeps convicting you. Change this situation. Many people say, okay, Josh, I've been speaking God's word. Nothing is moving. Don't worry. Keep speaking. Is changing when the clouds be full of rain, they will empty themselves. A day will come, the miracle will overtake you. You say, God is too much. God say, Too much for what? You have ignited, you have put the code. It's, it, it can't stop. Ah, I cannot, I cannot stop being blessed. You know why? You know why? I understand the principles from God's word. There's no place I'll go in this life that the door will not be open. It's not about me. It's about a spiritual principle. Through faith, we understand that he and I was framed by the word of God. Through faith, we understand that koinonia came into being. It was only an announcement in January. Today, through faith, it has gained structure. Through faith, we understand that we'll be taking the nations. Through faith, a day will come. Through the media, through whatever, a day will come. That what God has told you, that you will own the largest satellite that will be to Africa what TBN is to the world. Through faith, you know that it will come to pass. Men say, well, it will happen one day I will meet Paul Crouch. You see the kind of unbelief I'm talking about? You don't need to meet Paul Crouch. You just need to know the word of God. So all I need to do is, God, what are you saying? If God says, by this time tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, he and I will have a TV station. I will announce it and rejoice and say, Guys, this is what God has said. And then I will not just go back foolishly and cross my leg and say, God's word. He told Timothy, he said, How did he put it? Um, he said, Make a good warfare with the prophecy that has been given to you. In other words, it's the word of, let me tell you. You will keep seeing things in the realm of the spirit that will never happen in your life if you keep your mouth shut. There are too many people. They've seen themselves with new suits. They've seen new car. They've seen blessings. They've seen family. You saw yourself flying in, in the air until now. Bicycle has not even crossed the gate of your house. You know why? Because everybody's just crossing his leg and waiting. God is God. You think so? There are people who don't sleep in the night. They make it a, a praying time. While you are snoring up and down, they are making decrees over their life. They dance, and while they dance, you see them and say, ah, look at that person just dancing foolishly. That's what they are doing. Then one day you see them standing and they're like, hey God, this was my classmate. What were you doing when he was speaking? You are in the lecture. After, after a lecture, the lecturer is not coming and you see someone just speaking. And say, Lord, I know that the course I'm studying may not be very lucrative but my life is upon your word i make decrees and the person is listening you're like please if you want to give to caesar what belongs to caesar you're in the class stop doing all these your holy things and then suddenly you see doors that will open as the person is graduating that's when somebody is is being promoted abroad and they'll bring the person and say we have been waiting for you i don't know you but god gave us a word to bless you i say ah some people are locking this lock there's nothing called lock, brothers and sisters. There is nothing. Forget about all those lock, lock, modern nature thing. You create your future. Say after me, in the name of Jesus. 
I have the power to frame my future. You cannot frame a future you don't have an idea of. Have you ever seen any architect wanting to build a house and he tells the people, just build? They say, Where is the toilet? They say, just, just build, Oga. I am not complaining. Is he you that will live in the house? Just be building. And the guy says, Should I put it in the middle of the house? Say, just keep building. Before, hear me, before you build any house, you must have a plan. Your plan. So you must have an idea. What does the word picture of your future does the word of God give you? The word of God gives you a picture of a blessed life. Let me show you some pictures that the word of God gives. Can we look at it very quickly? All right. Guys, let me show you something powerful. Psalms 128, quickly. I don't know if you ever desire this kind of future, but that's the kind of future I desire. We're going to pray shortly. Psalms 128, are you there? Psalms 128. Blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord and walketh in his ways. Verse 2. Okay, we have it on the slide. Verse 2. He said, For thou shalt eat the labor of your hands. Is it in your Bible? That's, that's a painting of your picture, of your future. He said, Thou shalt eat the labor of your hand. Happy shall thou be, and it shall be well with you. Verse 3. Thy wife, that means you'll be married. So that ends the issue of disturbing God and not letting God rest. Oh, when will my wife come? The Bible already said, Thy wife, for heaven's sake. Are you understanding? He said, Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by thy side. So, no, no fear of divorce. She will be by your side. That's what the Bible says. Of thy house. He said, Thy children. So, there will be children. Like olive plants round about your table. Depends on how many you want. I'm not sure I want round about my table. If I have three children, I've contributed my best to the planet. Hallelujah. Next verse, verse 4. Behold, thus shall be, thus shall be, thus shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. So this is a scripture that you can speak. Let me confess, Jake's has been eating this scripture for the last how many days? Especially the part of the blessing. No, 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 I'm not talking of the wife part. Many of you are. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a prophetic picture of your destiny. And you say, Lord, I do not yet see all things under my feet, but my mouth will bring it under my feet. And you begin to speak and say, Lord, this is your word. I believe your word and I begin to decree. Hallelujah. Are you there? One more scripture. What's the other scripture, sir? Help me. Here. Job 5. Ah, yeah. Let me show you. How many of you know Job was a dangerous man? That guy, Job, you need to study the book of Job. Let me show you something in Job 5. I'm showing you a prophetic picture of your destiny. Mm. Hallelujah. Okay. Verse, verse 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, seven. In seven shall no evil touch thee. In famine he shall redeem thee from death. Recession. Recession. Ah, there's recession everywhere. It's coming into Nigeria. So, the word of God says in famine he will redeem you from death. Are you, are you understanding? It says, and, it's war, and in war from the power of the sword. And thou shalt be hidden from the scourge of the tongue. Let me tell you what the scourge of the tongue is. Somebody spoke against me in the village. And he said it will not be well with me. The Bible says that there is an operation of the spirit that makes you immune to the scourge of the tongue. Let men speak whatever they speak. As they are speaking, all they see is the dust from your back. Advancement unlimited. There's nothing any man can do to stop me. This young man standing may be young in himself, but there is a mighty hand that I'm sitting upon. Every one of us is sitting upon a hand that cannot fail. 
hear me cannot fail when the word of god enters your spirit people will think you are arrogant it's just an expression of the truth of god's word that's why jesus said come on i've i've been humble before abraham was i am he said don't take my being nice for granted i believe god's word tonight the meeting is supposed to provoke you he said neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh at destruction and famine thou shall what laugh neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the earth neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth hallelujah very very solid very very powerful scriptures that god is showing let me show you something in isaiah 43 isaiah 43 i love the word of god i love the word of god i love the word of god with my life i love the word of god are you there it says verse 18 remember not the former things nor consider the things of old he said behold i do a new thing now it shall spring forth shall ye not know it i will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert so if god sends you to a wilderness there's still no problem i will make a way in the wilderness rivers streams in the desert for as long as i keep speaking the word of god over people's lives they will keep getting results you know why let me show you very quickly it's not because my name is called joshua selman isaiah 44 verse 24 thus saith the lord thy redeemer him who formed thee from the womb I am the Lord who maketh all things, who stretcheth forth the heavens alone, who spreadeth abroad the earth by myself, who frustrated the tokens of the liars and maketh diviners mad, who turneth wise men backward and make their knowledge foolishness, who confirmeth the word of what? Is it in your Bible? He confirms the words of his servant. and the counsel of his messengers so that when i decree and say in the name of jesus you are blessed i am confident you will get a result because he confirms the words of his servant you create your future with the kind of life you want i mean you create the kind of life you want with the word of god i am blessed in the city i know it I know it i am blessed in the country everywhere i go i am blessed let me tell you something if i step into a place even if my enemies are, the, are all the people there they will bless me the bible says when a man's ways please the lord he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him that's why i don't have enemies i don't have enemies i will keep being promoted in this life from one dimension of grace to the other the reason is because my promotion in life is not tied to any man the bible says promotion neither comes from the east nor the west nor the south promotion comes from god hallelujah i will never get arrogant over what god is doing in my life you know why the bible says the race is not to the swift the battle is not to the strong said it is not of him that willeth nor of him that runneth but of the lord that showeth this when you saturate your life with god's word then you begin to declare favor follows me everywhere i go i'm favored i'm favored hallelujah i'm favored i'm favored blessed in the city blessed in the country in the name of jesus the works of my hands are blessed everything i lay my hands to do is blessed blessed in my business blessed in ministry you know why the bible says whatsoever it says shall be like a tree 
planted by the streams. I will never know dryness in my life because I'm planted by the rivers of living waters. He said, whose, whose, um, whose leaves does not wither? And then he said, whatsoever, whatsoever, whatsoever he doeth, prosper. If I don't do it, it's not because I'm afraid of failing. I'm, 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 I want to obey God. But anything I lay my hands to do, if it is of God, it will prosper. Can you come to that point? Laban made a confession. He said, I know that on account of you, God has blessed me. Your presence in my house is like the ark that was in the house of Obededon. Favor follows me everywhere I go. I have the grace of God. That's why when I shake your hands and I say you are blessed, believe me, you are blessed. You don't know the scriptures that frame the revelation of what I'm doing. That's why you can step into a place and say peace be still and there will be peace. Hear me brothers and sisters. I can go on my knees and beg you. You are not victorious in this life until you come to a point where you can put the word of God in your lips and begin to frame your destiny. Frame your destiny. Frame your destiny. Say after me, I'm framing my destiny. Don't sit down and watch things not go in your, in your family. There are people who are not getting married and all of this. And I say, well, it's just God. It's just God. Yes, you did Bible study about it. Have you spoken? Yes, you cried and rolled. Have you gotten up to speak? The Bible says David cried until there was no strength in him. God didn't say anything. And then he got up and spoke and said, God, should I pursue? God said, this is what I've been waiting. Pursue and overtake. So many of us tonight need to wipe our tears and say, Satan, I'm not as weak as you think I am. I've been equipped. I may look weak in myself, but let me tell you, I am going to take the word of God and put upon my lips and begin to speak and say lord my father is getting a good job that will restore him from the time he has been blackmailed a job that will pay him and restore him and you are speaking and you call your father and say daddy i want you to know that i'm on a project speaking over your life and destiny and my lover say well thank you son or daughter the day they call him you say ah this thing works oh it works it works I believe the word of God. The word of God works. I can stake my life to death at God's word. I know his word works. There is more to the story of my life. There's more to the story of this great ministry because of the power and the operation of God's word. Our boldness, our sufficiency is not in ourselves. Our sufficiency is in the confidence that we derive from the integrity of God's word no matter what challenge you are in no matter what miracle you need for your life i'd like you to know that if you stand to be an ambassador and make it a project to begin to decree only god's word go and frame certain scriptures put it on your laptop i like that software that while you are working on your laptop it keeps bringing uh the word out Instead of putting your picture and you see yourself when you went for excursion, you just put your leg. Like, put the word of God. Change your ringtone to something that will administer the word of God. Ah, Josh has started fanatical. Okay. Oh. When you make the word of God a project in your life and you begin to speak and make decrees and say, In the name of Jesus, my life is blessed once in a while you invite your friends or your roommates and say let's go and pray and after praying in tongues say hold on we are going to speak definite things we begin to speak and when you speak let's finish up this scripture ezekiel so that we can pray sometimes i wish there's time and time again to just keep expounding on god's word ezekiel you do wonders you do wonders in our midst faithful god faithful god 
Alléluia Alléluia Hear me I didn't want to share this but I'm, I'm sensing my spirit to share it. God told me something He said son The dimension of influence And increase and expansion That you are stepping into I mean everyone Not just me as a person Together as a family God told me we are stepping into Fearful dimensions of Increase and expansion By the spirit We are told the leaders I remember John first saw it in a vision And when God told me I started laughing I was happy and I was laughing Because I know what God means by that God is saying son I have shown you the picture in the heavens Make it real in this realm And I began to say Lord Kapo Sataya I partner with you Koinonia It's not just intimacy Partnership I agree with you Let it be done as it is in the heavens so friends you have not seen increase you have not seen expansion god told me with it will come many persecution because people will talk a time will come people will say these people their ways are not straight the way things are happening let me tell you brothers and sisters we don't have any secret this is it the good old word of god the good old word of god I love the prophetic so much because it announces the thing before it happens. You do want the sin of me. You do want the sin of me. You do want the sin of me. Faithful God. on all sides that's what i see advancement on all sides breaking new grounds i don't see a worse tomorrow no by the spirit greater transformation greater building that's what i see i look forward to a time when the worship team go international they are going the media going international oh yes it's happening by the spirit and it's for the kingdom i don't know what you see but that's what i see that's what i see many of you need to change the word of god changes your perception increase on all sides undeniable expansion by the word of god operating on an economic frequency that cannot be calculated by any law of economics only by the spirit and when we dumbfound the wisdom of men, then we shrink back to say, King of kings, be glorified. Be glorified. Let's finish the scripture. Friends, I'd like you to prepare yourself to be a part of what God is doing. And say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear ye the word of who? It was ezekiel speaking but he called it the word of who so although you are speaking it in the realm of the spirit it is registered as the very words of jesus christ carrying the same potency and creative ability that's why i love the prophetic the prophetic is not just to reveal to you the future it can create one the prophet said this woman has been good to us what do we give her can you imagine he didn't say let me go and pray and find out he said this woman has been nice it is within our power to create a future for this family and he said according to the time of life that god will raise generals among us who will make decrees and say because of me lord my family my mother didn't go to school my dad didn't go to school but they will reap the blessings of having a blessed child refuse to see yourself as small nobody knows you now but the word of god will create a ladder for you you will ride prosperously through life 
that when men say there is a casting down there is an invisible ladder people say where is the ladder that you are climbing in the word of god the word of god was a a pillar for someone to walk on water and he said come he said if it be thou bid me come and he said come and peter got up full of his own belief notwithstanding he walked on that water i'm telling you the truth there is no situation you cannot walk over i believe god's word i believe god's word i believe god's word i believe that a time will come in my life when I will almost not be allowed to do anything because there will be too many people to bless me. Where somebody will say, please don't pay the school fees of your children. Give me the privilege of having your children come to my school. That's what I believe. I don't know about you. I know that a time will come when the, the financial blessings God is giving you, you will not see any need to use it because there's really no need. You will just keep pumping it for the advancement of the kingdom. You are just saying thank you, Jesus. It's a realm of, it's a realm where the Bible says the reaper will overtake the sower. You don't know whether it's a harvest or it's a seed. You are so you cannot even tell again. You lift up your voice. Someone comes with a car key of a house. Uh, I mean, a car key and a house, and says God gave me an instruction and told me to build this and bless you for your service for the kingdom. People say, what is this? Then you remember when you were on campus and you were shouting and saliva was pouring from your mouth. You say, this is the fruit. And you will stand as a testament and as an epistle to show that the word of God is potent and that it has power. Rise up on your feet. For light is shining in the darkness. Jesus Verse 7 So I prophesied as I was commanded And as I prophesied there was a noise Say after me a noise Oh it always starts with a noise For every time You begin to speak There is a sound in the spirit Echo in your confessions You may not see it but there is a movement he said as i prophesied there was a noise was a sound and then a shaking and bones came together and verse 9 he said unto me prophesy to the wind prophesy to the wind son of man say unto the wind O oh breath breathe upon this slain that they may live so i prophesied as he commanded me and the breath came into them and they lived and stood up. The authority of a king is in his speaking. For where the word of a king is, there is power. I don't know if you are angry tonight to know that you have a responsibility over your destiny. Go ahead and thank God for the word. Say, Lord, I thank you. Oh, yes. Koinonia is also a place of partnership. 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 Cooperating with the heavens. I see my future in the word of God. I see my future in the word of God. And I speak. Go ahead and begin to speak. I speak. I am better than where I am now. I speak. Please make sure you are speaking. Through faith, we understand that the world will frame, will frame, frame your future inside and outside. Frame your future. The Holy Ghost is hearing what you're saying. The angels are there, moving at the direction of your word. Yes, creative power create a future a blessed one I declare I have a blessed life free of worry free of fear full of prosperity full of grace I'm moving from grace to grace the Bible says my path is as a shining light that shines brighter brighter 
unto the perfect day. I declare the lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. I have a goodly heritage. Gentiles, come to my light, kings, to the brightness of my rising. Oh, hallelujah. I'm favored, blessed in the city, blessed in the country, in the name of Jesus. I'm moving from grace to grace, from glory to glory. My past is as a light that shineth brighter and brighter. Everything I lay my hands to do prospers. The Lord commands the blessings on my storehouse and upon all that I set my hands to do. My gates are continually open. I receive the forces of the Gentiles. Pray. Pray, increase on every side, promotion on every side, favor on every side, favor on every side, favor on every side, favor on every side. A sick free life, a worry free life, a life of joy and gladness, enjoying the blessings of God, taking the kingdom of God. To the unreached places by the power of God. Blessed in my business, blessed in my life, experiencing ever increasing glory, ever increasing glory, ever increasing glory. Come on, pray, pray. The creative power of the word of God upon your lips. My family members are blessed. They are blessed. They are blessed. No death. No death. I refuse to die. I live long. I choose life. No toposo to makai. I suck honey from the rock. 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 Every wilderness becomes a plain ground. Every wilderness. Every dry ground is fruitful unto me. Every dry ground is fruitful from grace to grace, from glory to glory. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.